using NetBeans to manage UTF-8 text files by Stacy David Thurston. NetBeans is a developer tool for programming and managing text files. However, the default installation does not handle UTF-8 files, hence this video to show how to configure it for UTF-8. Here's the steps I'm going to go through. The first one being I'm going to demo NetBeans managing UTF-8 text files improperly. I've created a sample and what I'm going to do is, is open it here in my folder, my um, on my computer, today, fo today folder, NetBeans UTF, I double click it and that's text files are made to open in my notepad plus plus window and as we can see we have multiple languages here with multiple character sets. We have this and what we're going to do is open it up in NetBeans. So if I go to open it in NetBeans first thing I am is I'm prompted that cannot safely be opened because the encoding isn't Windows 1252. Do you want to open it anyway? I say yes. As we can see, the regular alphabet A, B, A to Z alphabet is, characters are fine. However, the others aren't, as they are here. So I'm just going to, so what I'm going to do is if I edit this, so I'm just going to put, do a little editing here edit and I do a save okay and I close it I reopen it and I can see the edit is but the characters do not look correct if I go here into notepad plus plus I can see I need to reload it I reload it and we can see the characters are messed up some of them have stayed the, ch the same the, the Chinese is fine some of these others but it's still it's just not right. Next I'll demo Notepad++ displaying and editing UTF-8 files properly. Notepad++ handles UTF-8 files fine. So if I open it up here I can see that it was it's not it's no longer good from from that means. So what I'm going to do is just I have a copy here of it. I'm going to go back to here and and replace it. So it's now back to normal and I'm going to close it open it up again we can see it looks fine I'm going to do some editing just as I did before save it and then what I'm going to do is close it and I'm going to reopen it and it all looks fine and this is what we want to happen in NetBeans now I'm going to configure NetBeans to manage UTF-8 text files okay now I'm going to configure the NetBeans by configuring the NetBeans configuration file so that NetBeans can manage UTF-8 files. Now to do this I need an editor which uh, runs as administrator. I'm on Windows 7 here, it would be the same as in Windows 10. You need to run the utility as administrator, so I'm starting my notepad plus up with uh, administrator privileges. Then what I'm going to do is go to my C drive, program files, NetBeans 8.1 etc file and there's my NetBeans config file. I'm going to open it up. I've linked it to that config files will open up in my notepad plus and here is my NetBeans configuration file and I'm going to scroll down and to my NetBeans default options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this option. Now this option I had already typed in as a, a learner's <laughs> experience just makes it quicker so I pre-typed that in. So there's my, my new val, val, value, my, my new option, which is to handle the encoding for UTF-8 files. So I'm going to do a save, and because I'm running as administrator, it saves just fine, and the config file is now updated. Now NetBeans, I'm going to need to restart it. So I'll, And finally, I'm going to confirm that NetBeans does display and edit UTF-8 files properly. Start it. So now it's starting starting up and this time we should see that it's going to handle the UTF-8. So what I'm going to do is open up my working example here and here we can see it is that it's opened it up and it's now visible and I'm going to remove my editing here just to show that now it's edited. Save it, close it, go back here and uh, if I was in here I can open it up with 
with this. Yes, and I can see that the editing from NetBeans is working fine. Open it up again. Edit again. You can always cut and paste something that the Japanese... Hello? Which works fine. Save it. Close it. Open it up again, and the editing's still there. There we ha that we've we've done it. We've configured U the NetBeans to now work with um, UTF-8 files. That concludes the video using NetBeans to manage UTF-8 text files by Stacy David Thurston. Thank you. Wow.